so this this is gonna be another I already explained this again, but I gotta tackle this shit again, man. This might this might be my last time tackling it. But man, I just can't stand backstabbing coworkers, man. Seriously. Like every t- every job, every nine to five is always like a backstabbing coworker, man. Like, so there's this girl that I work with, um, who kind of called off work for a few days or something. And I didn't know why at first, but she later I found out she was sick. And one of the people there, she was like, she, uh, it was an older lady and she was like, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go tell the boss about this. Cause this is ridiculous. Like, you know, it, like this is ridiculous. Like this is ridiculous and stuff like that because, because, uh, she, she wasn't there. Right. But then when she finally came back, uh, she had gave her a hug and shit. And I'm like, so when she was gone, you was threatening to tell the boss on her and tell on her for not for being absent. But then when she shows up, you want to give her a hug. Is it? Is this? I'm just. I'm like I said, dude. Like I said in my video titled uh, "Sick of This Life." I'm just so mentally fed up with the fucking job, man. Seriously, it's just I just can't take this job shit no more, man, dude. Seriously, man. All this fakeness, man. I hate being like I hate being around fake people and I hate being fake myself. You know. Um, I hate you know also having to be fake myself, having to start fake conversations with people that I don't really want to talk to just so I can fucking uh keep that camaraderie so they don't backstab me and shit like that like you know, it sucks, man. You have to be fake with people just so you can increase your chances of the person not uh, of the person not backstabbing you. Now, it's not guaranteed that if you try to pretend like you like a person and talk to them, it's not guaranteed that they won't backstab you, but you increase your chances. So it's like I'm just tired of like pretending to talk to people that I don't really give a fuck about talking to. Just so I can fucking not have them backstab me and stuff, man. It's ridiculous, man. And a lot of times, uh, if uh, if if there's people that they always talk behind people's back when the person's not there, but in their face they're all smiling in their face. You already know once you leave the room or once you go somewhere, they're talking about you. So I mean, you know, it's not like. I wouldn't be surprised if motherfuckers was talking about me behind my back, which I already, which I already said that there was people that did that. Like there's one, one girl there where she was talking about me. I actually caught her talking about me twice behind my back. Cause, because she had thought that I wasn't like, cause like I was like around the corner and she was, she was like in a room talking, talking about me. And she, she didn't know that I was there. So a lot of times, you know, when there's people always talking behind people's back, they're they're talking behind your back too. And this one girl told me that uh, this one lady girl told me this other lady was talking about me. It's 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 you know it's not surprising, man. When when you find out there's people talking about you behind your back, dude, like it's not surprising, dude. It, it's ridiculous, man. That's why I hate nine to fives. I hate fucking coworkers, and I can't stand all this back fakeness and back. Is this all? This a big old fucking. A group of backstabbing. Well, let me, you know, uh, uh, back, is all this bad? This irritating, man. Seriously, tired of this backstabbing shit. You know, you want to smile in the motherfucker face, but when they leave, you talking shit about them. It's crazy. You know, I don't like. I don't really talk shit about people at work. Uh, only time I may talk about people that at work is with people outside of work. I don't fucking do that fake ass shit where I'm a smile in your face, but then when you leave, I'm talking shit about you to other people. That's that's at the job. Like I'm more so may do that shit with people like you know, like I said, like like shit on my YouTube channel or or, or, or with people that don't work there. I'm not finna fucking do that. I mean, like even though um, I do act fake too, and that's because I have to. Like you know, like I kind of have to say, hey, hey, uh, how was your weekend? And just kind of talk to these people just so they can like me so I don't have to worry about them backstabbing me. Which, that doesn't guarantee them not backstabbing me, but it increases the chances of them not doing it, you know? Because when people like you, um, 
you have a higher chance of, of them not backstabbing you. So I have to be social, even though I don't want to. It sucks, man. But I'm just tired of it. But but I don't backstab people that work, even though I do act fake by by acting like I care about their weekend. I don't backstab nobody. I don't take a knife and stab them in the back. I don't do that because that's fucked up, man. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of gossiping. There's a lady at my job who who's always gossiping, always trying to, you know, spreading false rumors about people. I'm tired of that shit, man. That's why at jobs, you, you should never tell your business. You should never tell your business. You should never get too personal with your coworkers. You should, like anytime a person asks me a question at work, I always keep that shit surface level. When they say, oh, well, how was your childhood? I always keep that shit surface level to where there's nothing you can say about me. I don't fucking get into deep, deep, to deep detail about my childhood. Also, uh, with your social media page, with Facebook, uh, there's a way to make, a, to, to, uh, to make your Facebook private to where people can't see your Facebook unless they're your friends. Uh, unless they send you a friend request and you accept it. So recently, I had made my Facebook private. I don't want no one knowing knowing about nothing I got going on. So I'm not finna tell you shit about nothing. I'm not finna. You ain't finna see my social media. You ain't finna see shit because people are just nosy. All I want to do is spread gossip and spread rumors and just make your life a living hell, dude. That's why I fucking hate nine to fives, man. I'm tired of dealing with these stupid ass coworkers. I'm tired of d- taking care of these residents. I'm tired of fucking changing diapers and. Uh, sometimes, you know, I have to, you know, sometimes the residents have an accident and I have to like, uh, clean up, like clean up their shit. Sometimes I'm tired of doing that shit too. I don't want to clean up nobody else's shit. Like this ain't my kid. I don't want to wipe this motherfucker's ass. Fuck this motherfucker. I don't care if he's disabled. It's It's not my job. I didn't, I didn't have this motherfucker. It's not my job to take care of this, uh, fucking disabled retarded motherfucker like it's not my job to do that (laughs) i didn't have this dude you know this ain't my fucking child i don't want to take care of these retarded people dude seriously i don't i'm just doing it because i gotta fucking survive in this stupid ass world that i live in dude you know i didn't ask to survive in this bullshit it's a joke you know (laughs) seriously and i ain't trying to like talk shit about the disabled you know because i understand they, they ain't asked to be born here either but I ain't asked to take care of these motherfuckers. It ain't my job to take care of these people. Fucking take care of them and uh, help them out with their daily task. I, I didn't sign up for that. I mean, I mean, I did sign up for it because I because I did application, but I didn't have no choice. It's, it's either do that or fucking it's either sign up or fucking be homeless. So I had I had no option, man. It's ridiculous, dude. It sucks, but. Yeah, man, watch that video uh, in my community section to talk that talks about how to navigate through office politics. Because that, that guy says some good things in that video um, to help you navigate through this stupid-ass workplace. But that's all I got to say. I'm out.